Hi, everybody. This is Talking Digital Industries, a deep dive on technologies and trends which drive industrial enterprises. And all of this brought to you by Siemens. I'm your host, Christine Brunner, and in today's episode, we are focusing on edge computing in the machine tool industry and how you can use data ideally in manufacturing. Data is said to be the new gold, and the media is full of essays about data floods and data lakes. So I guess we need some special material and gear not to drown in these vast amounts of data. Sounds like a mission, but no worries. I'm joined by an expert today, Björn Rosenbaum. Björn is working at Siemens Digital Industries, and he's the one and only who is going to answer my questions today. Welcome, Björn. Um, we are very curious to learn how you manage and keep control of these data floods. Good to have you here with us. Yeah. Hi, Christine. And thanks for the invite and the opportunity to talk about this a quite exciting new technology for the machine tool industry that is called C-Numeric Edge. So Björn, what makes you an expert in this field and how long have you been working in Siemens? Well, right now I'm about 15 years with Siemens in the context of CNC machines, CNC technology, motion control and stuff like that. And for more than four years, I'm working in an area focusing more on the digitalization part but in the context of machine tool systems. And there I'm a product manager being responsible for Cinematic Edge. Look, there is a lot of value we can create and we can generate in terms of digitalization. So we, we need to bring more IT and software to our customers in the machine tool industry. So you mentioned IT. Why do you think it is necessary to deliver more IT to our customers? Yeah, look, uh, machine to industry, and this is, um, yeah, I mean, this is my opinion, but the machine to industry is still kind of a conservative business. So they are really professionals in producing ultra precise machines, machine to system, mechanical systems, and products. Now look at our machine to builders and uh, also the factories that are using those kind of machine tools to, to produce all these, these nice parts. But they, they are all facing a lot of challenges day by day. So they have to keep or in, even increase the quality of their products. They have to reduce the production costs. They have to increase outcome of the factories. Mm. But at a certain point, the mechanics will reach a limit. So um, oscillations caused by cutting forces, for instance, or increased friction due to lacking of lubrication or just a broken tool that is recognized too late. These, all these things, and by the way, there are a lot of more, all these things could lead to reduced qualities, unexpected downtimes, and therefore unexpected costs. So we believe that the data processing and analyzation will offer new possibilities to continuously observe the production process and continuously observe the machine to its condition. And by the way, th these new possibilities will also end up in new business models, new ways of generating money based on data-driven services, for instance, provided by the machine to build itself or maybe provided by a third-party service provider. So, mm -hmm. so machine, new, new business models definitely sounds nice in the field of a classic machine builder. Um, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Uh, you need to keep in mind that there is still a common rule that says never change running system, especially at the shop floor. So they they won't rather not touch touch these systems, but um, adding new capabilities and being able to run new business models needs changes. And that's why we are aiming for Cinematic Edge to be a platform to collect, process, analyze high amounts of data then added to new but also existing machine tools, the so-called brownfield or installed base, um, with less effort and impact. But it means easy installation, easy wiring, and an optimized new data interface. When you say it, um, everything is easy, talking about a brownfield, existing machines, um, you would not think that it's that easy, um, Björn. And out of all this data, which is then generated, what would you say is the best or even most obvious advantage for our customers? The benefit is preventing unexpected downtimes. This is the, 
the biggest advantage for our customers. And of course, keeping the quality of each manufacturer. I don't, I'm not talking about <clears throat> uh, a single uh, part that is uh, checked in terms of quality out of 100 manufactured parts. I mean, each manufactured part directly at the machine. So we're talking about a so-called digital fingerprint of a production. Let's say we do, let's just imagine you do have a reference part with a digital fingerprint, means a data set, a reference data set. And now we can compare each following part based on these reference data set. So the machine itself will tell you that each part is of the same quality. So it's like a quality control gate at that time. Usually you, you had someone really check each individual part. Now it's done by the data analysis. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. But quality is only one aspect. So I mentioned also the unex preventing or avoiding unexpected downtimes. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. therefore we, we have a more continuous monitoring, not part-wise, but um, maybe from from. from morning from dusk till dawn, let's say like that, and the, the, <laughs> the machine's condition will be observed. So there are a lot of a lot of possibilities based on these data. Okay, a lot of screening, um, so to say, which, which can be done. So what's your recommendation, Björn? What would you suggest to our machine tool builders? What can they do to extend their business with um, the help of digitalization? Yeah, well, for many To be honest, uh, this is a completely new approach. They now have to deal with interfaces, you know. So coming from working with steel, <laughs> now they need to work with software and data. You know? They need to do analytics. And in addition to the mechanical engineering and the CNC commissioning, that's what their, let's say, uh, former business uh, mainly was. And in edge, or and, and, and an edge is the key to combine the machine to system and the data processing. So this is what the platform is made for. And next to the platform itself, that basically is an in, uh, industrial PC with a hardened operating system, special interfaces, um, um, centralized management system. There are a lot of applications that can be purchased in addition. Edge apps focusing on workpiece qualities, like I mentioned before, or edge apps that are that are using IP cameras, for instance, inside the machine, observing raw material placements, for instance, or fixtures uh, or um, yeah, raw material displacement to avoid uh, displacement for therefore bad qualities or even machine crashes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And if those apps don't meet the requirements, Our customers can always create and develop their own one. You know, we, we are also delivering an app SDK, a so-called software development kit to be able to create own applications. So for their own specific use cases. Uh, yeah, indeed. So, I mean, it's then kind of an um, individual application that mm -hmm. focuses on the very specific customer's use case. So they have the best knowledge and they uh, now get the tools and the platform to realize uh, okay. a specific application focusing on this specific uh, use case or problem, let's mm -hmm. say problem. Perfect. I mean, sounds like the magic wand which you are offering <laughs> and using here. Indeed. <laughs> so what exactly does that mean in the case of a machine builder service business? There is much more to this than just collecting data, I assume. So only collecting data does not really help. It's an important piece, but it, it's not enough for sure. So uh, the key is looking at the data, analyzing it, uh, finding the right answers and to, to, to some, let's say, anomalies, with deviations in the data that, that are uh, unexpected. So we are talking about expert know-how and the machine tool builders have that kind of know-how they know their machines they can read the data why a machine access for example needs more power or what might cause a bad surface quality of the product parts so they know their machines best they can provide consulting for their customers and together with the people working at and with the machine tools uh, are much better in judging of what's wrong in the production process 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, right, we know that. There is this one expert needed as well, working at the same machine for 20 years. And that person, he usually knew when it was humid outside, he knew his machine might have some troubles um, or whatever. And he knew exactly which settings he had to change under which conditions that absolutely. the production would run smoothly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's that's what is what is needed as well. So the expert literally feels feels the manufacturing process. Right? They touch. They are really touching the machine, and they feel the vibration. They they hear a strange noise, and they react on that. So they know what needs to be done to make the machine work reliably again. Okay, so this new business model, which you mentioned, could not only provide hardware, but also brainware, so to say, yeah. saying these experts get more and more help by software and applications. And as these applications can now predict how the machine will behave in certain situations, is that mm. like the savior for all? Yeah, nearly, <laughs> to be honest. So we are aiming for applications that are able to predict a certain situation in the near future based on some deviations in data called anomalies. The, the, the application needs mathematics, rules, and algorithms to detect the anomalies and provide proper notifications or pause the production process carefully. In fact, we are on the way to reach that goal. At the moment, we have trained our algorithms to recognize situations that differ from the normal on the fly and provide feedback. But the more data we gather and the more these algorithms can be trained, the more precise the predictions will be. So let me phrase it. The more data we gather, the better we get? Indeed. It's it's like, like with the kids going to school. The algorithms have to learn to get better in prediction as well. Let's imagine there are several machines in different factories where data are collected. You can summarize these data, for instance, on MindSphere, our cloud-based IoT ecosystem for the industry. And after summarizing, you can compare the data from different machines, find correlations, and train your algorithms with the data and make them more intelligent. However, it's important to mention that your data is still available to you. Yeah. So, um, Bjorn, going for a deep dive into this topic now, let's jump on the shop floor now. Let's say I'm a machine tool builder and I want to run my machine tool with a numeric edge and gain initial insights from my machine data. Like, how can I get started? Which steps do I have to take? If you are still at the beginning of the digital transformation, and most of our customers are still there, um, that means you, you, you're not yet using the full potential of the data, but you see some problems in production of your customer and you would like to observe some process parameters with a high sampling rate there. Mm, um, high sampling rate, can you quickly describe uh, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it means up to 1,000 values per second for up to 100 data points in parallel. Okay, that's a lot of lists in comparison, which you would have had to check. <laughs> yeah, in, indeed. Well, so to start, to, just to come back to your question, to start, my recommendation is to use the free of charge application that is called Cnumeric Edge Flow Creator to, let's say, easily visualize some high frequency data from the position control loop, for instance, or... Uh, from, from one or multiple machine access to get a first indication, let's say, a first indication of what went wrong during production. So seriously, with this, I can see clearly where the weak points in my production are <laughs> located. Yeah, I would rather say that you, are, you or your customer, let's say, could see some strange signal behavior, you know, some peaks or some, I don't know, uh, increased uh, uh, amplitude, something like that. In this case, there's already an idea where the problem is coming from. But usually you need to dive deeper, much deeper into the data that the machine is generating. For, for that, you need a lot more information, a lot, of more a, lot of, a lot more data, sorry. <laughs> so these kind of comprehensive data sets can be collected with Cinemac Edge application called Analyze My Workpiece Capture, for instance. 
without the need to be on site. So it means the customer can run the application, can collect all the data that is needed for the specific part and then could send it to you. So the so-called recording remotely. jobs. Yeah, yeah, indeed, remotely. Um, yeah, I mean, digitally. <laughs> so send, mm -hmm, yeah. you can, you can, you as a machine to builder can advise the customer, please do this and that. You can send him a, a pre-configured recording job for this application. Customer can load it. Customer can run the recordings, collect that kind of comprehensive data set with all the information needed for this particular production step, let's say. And then the customer can send the data set back to you. So you got the data now. How do we move on? Yeah, okay. So based on this data, now just imagine you can offer your customer, uh, let's say, value-adding services, digging deep into the data to find the reasons for his problems during production. It, it kind of sounds like going to the doctor and doing a health check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you're saying here. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Okay, and then you get some information how you need to treat yourself in order to stay or become healthy again. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, everything seems to be fine now. But is it also possible for my customer to connect the machines to a production planning system on premise? Yes, yes. To that or other external systems on premise like a data lake, for instance. So Just to make an example, your customer can use the so-called universal machine and technology interface uh, that is called UMATI. So it's, it's, def it's defined or it, it will be created by the German VDW Association. A lot of machine tool builders are part of it and driving that topic as well. And with that interface, you can send status information uh, or general machine data for Uh, further dashboarding, further process control to external systems. So it's a, it's a standardized interface, uh, talking the same language, talking, sending the, 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 the same data in the same format to external systems. So it makes it much more easier to integrate uh, machines and, and the data of machines to those systems. So, um, but I, I guess you, You don't. Uh, oh, uh, let me let me mention. Uh, this is a growing standard. This is still growing. So there will be updates. Let's say twice a year, for instance, in within the next years. So to always be up to date, you as the machine to builder need to go to the customer, need to go to the machine, and bring the update manually to the machine. Uh, but I guess you won't spend that effort and money and time. Uh, It's, I guess it's more attractive for you to do it remotely again. Uh, mm -hmm. And Cinemag Edge provides these kind of capabilities. So you can use the OPC UA server of Cinemag Edge and you can use the infrastructure to uh, download the UMATI standard. That's basically an information model to the already installed um, machines that are equipped with Cinemag Edge. So you can all you can do all that stuff. You can always be up to date from home, let's say. Great. I mean, um, Umati to me sounds like a best-selling book by some Nobel Prize author. <laughs> <laughs> and the name itself um, stands for quality, that's for sure. Um, mm. And once more, never touch a running system is one of the points where we said, um, don't touch a machine, but here you don't even have to touch it. You can interfere by the apps and see what's going on. Um, so for sure, these all are really helpful applications. What else can the customer expect, Björn? Is there even more value which can be generated? Sure. So there have been just a few examples. There are a lot of more available uh, Cinematic Edge applications that are offered by Siemens. Uh, and in future, uh, third-party um, developers will provide their applications for their whatever specific use case as well. So th this is also a growing kind of ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, for more information, I would uh, rather recommend to visit our, our product pages and uh, maybe your sales representative. Okay, they for sure um, have lots of information. And I assume this is all just the start, really the beginning of so much more to come in this technology. Um, lots of information, Björn. How would you summarize all of this? Oh, good question. Well, I know um, 
let me let me try to put it in a nutshell. So the Cinematic Edge is an open and secure platform providing high quality of data, providing the capability to process these kind of data in a secure environment. So it means we keep your data private. We provide a hardened operating system to provide this, let's say, up-to-date and modern IT security standards. Mm -hmm. uh, we provide a lot of interface. So we are kind of open in a protected environment. So interfaces that you can use to connect to data sources and machines, for instance. But on the other side, can, you can use to connect to external systems and uh, also cloud. So decentralized management in MindSphere, what I mentioned before, uh, enables you to reach all connected cinematic edge devices all over the world, just from one from central place, but also ensures that the apps and software to be updated are coming from a trusted source. So this is uh, mm -hmm. an important part of our security pattern. It's like, like on your mobile device. So there is a store, there's one repository somewhere in the cloud. And from that you can get the applications and the software artifacts means components and uh, you can trust on that. Which is great. Take, I would say, let me give me a, one last sentence. So take, take the advantage of the new possibilities with Cinemag Edge. So release your technology know-how, create business, be creative. And we will take care about everything else. That's a word, Björn. Um, having a partner or being a partner who ensures that everything is running well. Björn, thank you for being my guest and giving us these definitely great insights into this topic today. Of course, many thanks to our listeners too. Great, you have been here with us and I hope you all enjoyed this talk as much as I did. As usual at this point, a few more hints for further information where you can go for your deep dive. For example, on Siemens.com slash Cinumeric minus Edge. And please don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to send us your feedback, questions and even suggestions on which topics you'd like to hear more. So stay tuned for our next episode. This was Talking Digital Industries with Christine Brunner. Join us again soon and stay brave, safe and curious.